everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm trying to get a microphone for this camera. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how I did this makeup look. Um, I, I had a, a look in my head that I wanted to do, which I will do next time. But I ended up doing this look and this happens to me all the time. I have this look I have in my head that I want to do. But then as I'm going on with the makeup, I change my mind and I do something else. I use Makeup Geek eyeshadows, um, one of her Ford eyeshadows. I use the pigment uh, Utopia and you guys have heard about Utopia but I use it like in the middle here and then I use House of Lashes lashes and this is feline I love House of Lashes lashes because they're, they're, they're really nice uh, and they're easy to apply um, yeah that's what I did and if you would like to see how I achieved this amazing look then keep on watching and I'll see you in a bit so I'm starting with the Lancome Den Idol and the Maybelline Poreless uh, Foundation and I'm applying it all over my face. I've already primed my face. I use a primer that I don't really like actually. It's not good for oily skin. And um, yeah. And then I've, I've done my brows uh, off camera, actually my camera didn't film me doing my brows and I'm just cleaning up under my brows and I'm also going to clean above my brow. Uh, when I do, uh, when I clean up above my brow, I use a concealer that is the same shade as my skin tone, just to make it look more natural. So next I'm priming my eyes and I'm using the MAC uh, Paint Pot in Groundwork. And I'm just applying it all over my lid and I'm going I'm also gonna apply it on my lower lash line next I'm using a lip balm I use the Lysarin lip balm because I usually have really dry lips so I'm using a lip balm so that I can get my lips prepped for my lipstick and then I'm going to use a brown um, a, 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 an orange, not orange, yellowish brown um, eyeshadow on my crease using a fluffy brush from Sigma. And then next, I take a warm brown eyeshadow. This is from Krylon. You guys know how I love Krylon eyeshadow, and I'm just using it just below my crease just to warm up my crease. And these eyeshadows will act as transition colors and they're gonna help blend uh, the dark eyeshadows that we're gonna we're gonna apply on the lid so I'm using a darker warm brown eyeshadow just below my crease as well just to deepen my crease a little bit more And then next I'm using this two black eyeshadow one with glitter, a little bit of glitter but it doesn't actually show when you apply and one is matte and I'm just going to apply first at the outer corners of my eyes and then I'm going to sweep it through my crease and take it all the way into my the inner corners of my eyes. And the key to applying these eyeshadows is blending and just not blending anyhow it just have a control blending so that's why I'm, I'm alternating between two brushes so I use the one with the dark eyeshadow and the one with the warm brown eyeshadows to blend next I'm taking a makeup geek for eyeshadow I'll have the name in the description box and I'm applying it all over my lid with a synthetic brush you can use your fingers I feel like if you use your fingers it gives you the best best result but I didn't want to dirty my fingers I'm so lazy like that so I use um, I use a brush so I'm reapplying the black eyeshadow on my crease again just to deepen my crease a little bit more and, and just because I wanted to have a smoky look and then I'm blending again 
I'm applying the same fold eyeshadow that we applied on the lid on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow just at the outer corner of my lower lash line. Next, I'm applying a, um, it's a multi gel that I got from Krylon and this is good when you're, you're using glitters or um, pigments, it's just going to intensify the pigment when you use it with pigment. So I'm apply, I am apply the first and then I apply the Makeup Geek um, pigment in Utopia. It's such a gorgeous um, pigment. It's such a gorgeous color. I really love it. I want to use it again for a different look. So this is the first one and I'm going to try and do another look with the Utopia pigment for Makeup Geek. So I'm just applying the pigment, just making sure that it's intense on the middle of my lid and then blending the crease as well, just to blend everything together. And I'm taking a Krylon um, eyeshadow and I'm just applying it at the inner corners of my eyes, just to give me that, just to open up my eyes a little bit more because we're using a dark eyeshadow on the lid and because I've got really small eyes, I need to like open them up. So that's why I did that. And then I applied a, a, an eyeshadow on my brow bone, which is actually the same color as the concealer that we use uh, to clean up the um, brow bone. And then I'm lining my eyes with a liquid liner uh, from NYC, which I absolutely love. And then next I'm using uh, a lip pro concealer to highlight under my eyes, my forehead, bridge of my nose, and my chin. You guys have seen me do this a million times. Um, but I'll have a proper video, on, um, a step-by-step -step video on how I highlight and contour. And then I'm using my beauty blender just to blend everything together. And then I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup uh, powder just to set the concealer under my eyes uh, where, where I applied my concealer, my highlight concealer. And I'm also using it below my cheeks just to highlight that area and, and just to make my cheeks more chiseled. And then I'm taking a powder from MAC, which is called a Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Deep Dark. And just to apply all over my face to set my foundation and blend everything together. And then I'm taking a, a contour powder, which is actually a powder from MAC, which is two shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm just using that to contour my face. It looks horrible right now, but trust me guys, it's going to... Uh, once I blend everything, it's going to come out really, really nice. And then I'm using a smaller brush and I'm also using the contour powder on the side of my nose. You don't have to do that, but I love doing that. And then I'm using a, a bronzer. This is from CoverGirl. And I'm using that just to warm up my cheeks, my forehead. I love using this powder to warm up my cheeks and my forehead. And I always apply it after applying my contour powder. And then I'm taking the warm brown eyeshadow and I'm applying it on my bottom lash line just to blend the eyeshadows at the bottom and just to make it a little bit more smoky. And then I'm applying a black gel liner on my waterline. This is from Inglot Cosmetic and it's number 77. I'm applying the mascara on my bottom lash line. This is from MAC. I'll have the name in the description box. I also applied um, lashes off camera and they're from house of lashes and they're called feline and next i'm applying blush i use two different blushes one from slick and the other one from milani and i'm applying it on my cheeks i'll have the name in the description box and then i'm gonna highlight above my cheeks and i'm using the becca highlight powder in topaz And then I'm, line, I'm outlining my lips and then I'm going to apply a lipstick on top of that. And 
and then I'm applying a lip gloss this is by NYX all the names will be in the description box and here's the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial let me know what you think don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have subscribed thank you for sub for subscribing I'll see you in my next video take care guys bye